I thought in my head this has got to be a mistake. For the past three years, Leslie Goodwin has been paying for flood insurance on her home here in South LA. I'm not in the mountains. I'm not at the coastline. I'm not, you know, in the canyons. Um, this is the middle of the city. The reason Goodwin's home sits in this blue section you see here on the FEMA flood map. It means FEMA has classified her home as having a 1% chance of flooding each year. It's just this little blue square and you can even zoom in and it's literally six, seven houses. That's because the surrounding orange zone has a 0.2% annual risk of flooding. So those homes don't have to carry flood coverage. Carl Sussman is a veteran insurance agent. And I actually contacted uh, FEMA and I actually contacted the city of Los Angeles Building and Safety to try and find out specifically what was the cause. And I'm sure this will come as a major shock to you. Nobody could tell me. We asked FEMA and they tell us there are topical depressions in the small area where Goodwin's home sits. 31 years, have you ever had any issues of flooding? No. Longtime resident Danny Davis lives three doors down from Goodwin. He also sits in the middle of that little blue square. El Nino came through a couple of times. The street was, you know, pretty full, but it never came over the curb. Goodwin's premium just jumped to nearly $1,000 for the year. Davis pays 700 but they can't stop paying for their flood insurance because their lender requires it based on that FEMA map. But Sussman says you can shop around or lower your coverage. If they're in an area and they really feel that, you know what, I just, I would not carry this type of coverage. I'm literally doing it specifically because my lender is mandating it then what they can do is get a dwelling-only policy. In South LA, Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.